Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. As I'm filming this video, I'm confined in my apartment amidst the coronavirus outbreak and most likely you are too. During these times, you may be wondering how to prevent being infected or if there are ways that you can fight off the virus. I'm going to preface this by saying that there are no miracle cures, foods or supplements that you can take to fight against the virus. The tips I'm going to give you will help boost your immunity and put you in optimal health conditions, but they will not automatically prevent you from getting the virus. It's very important that you stay at home, practice social distancing, and wash your hands very frequently, as you always should. That being said, here are some tips to boost your immune system. So first of all, it's very important to eat the right foods. You should be eating plenty of fruit and vegetables. You always should, but really now more than ever. You probably all know by now how important fruit and vegetables are and all of the health properties that they have. Again, for my sources, feel free to check out my blog post that I will be putting in the description box. They are rich in healthy fiber, which helps support a healthy gut, and I will be talking about that more later. They are rich in important vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, and nutrients. The list goes on. Make sure that you stock up on these goods, and this brings us to the next point, which is that you can absolutely get some frozen fruit and vegetables, or foods for that matter. Since you should be limiting your time outside and therefore your time spent at the grocery store, it's a good idea to stock up on some frozen fruit and vegetables because you know that fresh ones won't last as long. For some reason, people seem to think that frozen fruit and vegetables aren't as good for your health as fresh fruit and vegetables, and in most cases that's really false. In reality, frozen fruit and veggies are frozen at peak maturity where they still have all of their nutrients, so they may actually even be better for you. Of course, check to make sure that they aren't frozen with additional chemicals. Even if that's pretty rare, you might find that they've added ascorbic acid, which is a form of vitamin C, which is fine, it's just to preserve the, the fruit for longer. And you might be wondering also about canned vegetables, fruit and vegetables. Well, these, it really depends. You really need to check the labels. If they are canned without any preservatives, without any added sugars or lots of salts or anything like that, then they're absolutely great for your health as well. But be careful because some brands just put the fruit in lots of sugar or put the vegetables in lots of a sauce with lots of salt, and that's not the best. And also make sure that the container is BPA free. The third thing you should do is to make sure that you get plenty of antioxidants. Antioxidants help defend your body against the stress caused by free radicals. When free radicals accumulate in your body from stress, pollution, smoke, UV rays, it can cause oxidative stress. This can damage molecules in your body and increase your chances of cancer or premature aging. And also antioxidants help fight off infections. There are different types of antioxidants. For example, vitamin C is found in a lot of fruit and vegetables. Vitamin E is found in nuts and seeds. Selenium is found in nuts, shellfish, poultry, and whole wheat foods. Polyphenols are found in berries, wine, grapes, apples, tea, dark chocolate. If you want to know more about antioxidants and all of their health benefits and which foods contain which antioxidants, then you can check out the article I made about that that I will be putting in the description box. The fourth thing you need to do is to take care of your gut health. Your gut microbiome refers to the different microorganisms that are living in your large intestines. They're basically your healthy gut bacteria. And studies are constantly demonstrating the link between our microbiome and numerous health aspects. And a healthy gut is especially important for a healthy immune system. So it's really important that you take care of your gut all the time, but especially during these times, so you have the healthiest immune system possible. Make sure that you eat a lot of fiber, a lot of whole grains and fruit and vegetables, and you can also have some fermented foods which help enrich your gut bacteria. 
If you're interested in learning more about gut health and which foods to eat for optimal gut health, then don't forget to check out the video I made about that. I will be putting it right here and also in the description. And the fifth point on eating the right foods is that you shouldn't forget about herbs and spices. Herbs and spices are often forgotten, but they can be really great tools to help boost your immune system. They contain many antioxidants and often have good anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Super, super healthy ones include turmeric, cinnamon, ginger, garlic, but there's really so many others that you can add to your favorite dishes to have a little immune system boost. The second main point which will help you boost your immune system is that you should continue to exercise. As you know, exercising has so many great health benefits. It can lower your risk for diseases, it's also great for your mental health and it improves your stress levels and your sleep patterns. So in general, exercise is super important to help boost your immune system. Even if you can't go to the gym right now, it's still important to get in some physical activity. If you have a backyard, now is really the time to take advantage of it. You can run, do jumping jacks, push-ups, curl-ups. You can play games with your family. There's so many things you can do. But if you don't have a backyard, then you can still do some of these activities inside your house. You can also try doing some yoga or Pilates. Don't hesitate to watch some YouTube videos to get some ideas. There are so many great videos out there. And you can also download an app book, which will give you some exercise routine ideas. And that way you can really still get in all of the good benefits of exercising even if you're not going to the gym. Another really important point is that you need to get enough sleep. Sleep deficiency has many health implications and getting enough sleep is really crucial for a healthy immune system. So now's finally the time to get in those seven to eight hours of sleep. If you're working from home, seize this time to sleep in a bit later. Make sure that you also use this time indoors to rest and do mindful activities. This will help you recharge and keep your stress levels down, which is good for optimal health. And I also wanted to touch on the subject of supplements. Some of you may be tempted to go out and consume a bunch of supplements right now to help boost your immune system as much as you can. However, if you're eating correctly and getting fruit and or veggies at every meal, then they shouldn't really be necessary. Of course, one that could be really helpful is vitamin D since you're not going out and seeing the sun as much. And if you also feel like you're not getting enough vitamin C rich foods, then you can take a vitamin C supplement. Studies haven't shown anything consistent on people supplementing with this vitamin, but as long as you don't take too much and you don't overdo it, then it's one that can't hurt. And of course, if you were on supplements, doctor approved supplements, supplements that you need before the outbreak, then of course, keep on taking them. So to sum up, eating the right foods is super, super important, especially during these times. Make sure that you're eating plenty of fruit and vegetables and don't hesitate to go for frozen ones as well. Also make sure that you're getting in plenty of antioxidants. It's also important to take care of your gut health as a healthy gut bacteria means a healthy immune system. Getting enough sleep and exercising is also crucial during this coronavirus outbreak. Take this time to read, watch movies, get organized, cook, spend time with your loved ones, do some introspection, pick up a hobby you've always wanted to start. And you can also use this time to watch all of my videos on nutrition to help you improve your nutrition knowledge while you have all this time. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.